Hi everyone, so I've got some very exciting news, but to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous to tell you all about. So before I go into any detail, I understand that people will have their own opinions and views on what I'm about to tell you. So please try and be kind and understanding. So since the beginning of my TikTok journey, I've always told people to embrace their imperfections. I do, and I always will stand by that. No matter what shape or size you are, you should always love yourself. So I am very excited. I have kindly been given the opportunity with Prime Health Concept to have a gastric sleeve. If, is anybody really surprised, dude? Becky Jones has been having tons and tons of problems with her weight for years now. And it almost seems like she doesn't really care about it. Like she'll do these exercise videos that really don't amount to anything because she'll just right after that eat like a thousand or two thousand calories. She'll burn three hundred and burn a, and then eat a thousand. And she does that consistently all the time. And you know what? For somebody like Becky Jones to start off the video with, I think people should embrace their imperfections and then go, but I'm going to get a gastric bypass sleeve. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Like to start off with a disclaimer, like even though I'm about to do this, you guys, though, I mean, I'm going to do this, but you guys, on the other hand, you can stay in your slop selves, which is fine, by the way. I, if you want to be fat, you can be fat. But Becky, it just seems weird to me that Becky would be getting this gastric bypass sleeve because, like, I don't know what this would do for her, dude. Um, I know many people that get that sleeve or get bariatric surgeries in general and always have problems with it because you're not actually solving the solution. You're not actually solving the problem. And the problem is almost always universally going to be you're eating way too many foods and you're doing it way too consistently. And I know Becky is literally doing that because every single one of her videos is literally her eating thousands of calories in a day. I mean, literally, we're going to see a video. She did this video. It's actually so incredibly crazy that she did this video and then literally an hour before this video went up, she went out for ice cream, which is <laughs> like, I don't know. You can't make it up, right? Becky is an amazing human being. Make no mistake about it. If you're going to get that bypass sleeve, it's not a one and done. You need to actually continue with the weight loss. You need to, it's it's just the starting step, okay? And I would never recommend anybody to do these surgeries unless it's the final thing. It's the end of the road for you. Like you've tried every single thing, every every other uh, solution that you could have think, thought of and it never worked for you. So it would be like weight loss. You really tried to get in the gym. You were, you were practicing a calorie deficit and you just couldn't do it. Then, okay, you're going to do the sleeve because a lot of people that get that sleeve continue eating like slop right after and they just end up regaining the weight. And then they're just sitting there with that sleeve that's reducing their stomach down and then they're they're just done for the rest of their life because that's a life changing thing. That's a life changing surgery. After you get that, you there's no reversal to it. That's something that's one and done. So I don't know if Becky is going to be capable of being able to change up her diet in a drastic way. And also her entire TikTok is just dedicated to her, her eating thousands and thousands and thousands of calories. I don't think this is going to go over well for all the people in the community that are just watching her beating off to a big woman eating food and spewing verbal diarrhea every single video literally in this video like saying you know embrace your imperfections anyway i'm gonna get the gastric bypass sleeve it's not really gonna do anything at all but i don't know this is a new video by the way uh i just i'm literally getting this news probably around the same time you are you're literally getting this video right after the becky jones video that i just put up today which is crazy because i don't usually upload two videos in a day because I just, you know, it's just not something I do. I, I do one video a day, but today's special just for you guys because this is hot straight off the straight off the skillet, still steamy, still juicing up the pan with the, the hot spices and all this other stuff, dude. The Indian man's forehead flakes all over the pan. We're getting it spicy. So let's continue what she has to say. By the way, we are going to watch that video right after this. Now, do not think that I jumped to this decision. They contacted me. And okay. I don't care that they contacted you. This is obviously something that Becky had to think about, and she probably deduced that she was not going to be able to do the weight loss herself. I don't think she actually had any intentions of doing weight loss, given the fact that she's been only gaining weight over the past four or five years since she's been doing her TikTok. It seems like what happened was they hit her up, and she was like, you know what? If it's free, it's for me. I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and I don't think she's thinking about the repercussions of this. I don't think she realizes that this is a, this is a big lifestyle change for you, Becky, and your lifestyle you don't change this is something that this is going to be a giant megalodon change for you and i was a little bit back and forth with it i've had like a point of contact who's absolutely lovely to talk to and has been helping me with all my issues and everything like that any questions i've had i've asked her and like to be honest i do feel hypocritical because i feel like i've always been against it in my own opinion i feel like i was always kind of 
against it for myself, not for anybody else or anybody else's choice that has had one. Sure. I don't have a problem, by the way. If somebody said, like, they're they're for abortion and – but they themselves would never get an abortion. I've been in these boats before. And it's not contradictory, by the way, if that's how you believe. It's just personal. But for somebody like Becky who does go on their TikTok and does make videos promoting self-care and loving yourself as is and making sure that you're – you know, you're you're – even though you have problems, it doesn't matter. It's okay that these are going to be issues. I always thought it was bullshit, by the way, because what are you even talking about, dude? It's not even something you can't change. You could literally just not eat as much as you. It's like people got to understand this. Becky is literally chilling at around 300, maybe even some more pounds, maybe around 400 pounds. I wouldn't even be surprised. I have no idea. Sometimes I look at Becky and I think, damn, she big. And other times I'm like, damn, it's not that big because you got to understand she uses a lot of filters. Becky is a filter queen. Uh, some, I, I'm actually blown away sometimes when I go on that Becky Jones subreddit and I see the pictures of Becky walking and I see that they, the filters are actively reducing her body by a good portion. And I'm just thinking like, this, these filters nowadays are actually insane, dude. I couldn't even imagine getting a dick pic nowadays and then looking at that dick pic going, I don't know if this is a real dick pic. I don't know if this is like actually the proper integers. I don't know if this is the proper girthiness of this gentleman's penis. I don't know. Uh, rest assured though, if you ever see a dick pic from me, that's just all authentic. I can prove it. But regardless of that, Becky Jones has always been insecure about the weight, even though she'll say one thing. She obviously doesn't mean it, dude. The filters don't lie. The girl literally uses filters on, like, she got to be stacking, like, three or four filters on a daily basis. As if we're watching this video, do you see a single pore on her skin? Hell the fuck no. Girl uses filters 24-7. Them filters be working OD, bro. I'm surprised her phone isn't on, like, life support, dude. Perpetually on 10%, 10 battery mode be the amount of, like, activity that CPU's got to have to put under, uh, the amount of stress that shit's under. But... Uh, yeah, it is. It is pretty hypocritical. I'll get. I'll keep it a buck. But it is what it is. I mean, Becky. I, I'll prefer this if she actually tried to lose weight. If this was actually something that she was gonna do, then I would say, yeah, go ahead and do it. I just hope you understand the bet. I hope you understand what this is gonna do to you. I hope this. You understand the repercussions of this. I hope. And I hope you understand that this is gonna require you to do actual work, Becky. This isn't just some simple. I'm gonna get the bypass and then I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna lose a lot of weight. You might at first. But rest assured, you're going to be eating a lot. I know that dude, for instance, Boogie2988, he got that surgery. Guess what? That dude's chilling at 500 pounds. He was chilling at 600 pounds before the surgery. Listen, 600 pounds is far worse than 500 pounds. 500 pounds is big as hell. That shit is life-threatening shit right there, dude. And if we're talking about Wings of Redemption, too, same thing. Got the surgery, still big as fuck. 450 around that shit. Not, no intentions of losing weight. All right, so I hope this doesn't, I hope you're not in the same boat. I hope you have the, the ability, the fortitude to push through after you get that surgery and continue the weight loss. But given the track record, given the examples that I've seen Becky go through, I, I'm just not, I, there's no reason for me to ever look at that as anything other than just hogwash. Like, I am not doing this for any of the haters out there or anybody that calls me, you know, fat or anything like right. that. Right. I mean, you should be doing it for yourself first and foremost, of course, but you have to at least acknowledge that this is going to have some backlash, right? Uh, I'm truly doing this for myself. And, you know, over the last few months, I've realized that I cannot please everybody. I really can't. And Yeah, but what, nobody's ever trying to go out of their way to please everybody. There are going to be people that are just going to say random shit or trying to be mean to you for no other reason than just being mean to you. It's never a good idea to ever please everybody in general because that's impossible. Um, but this is a stupid reason. What she's actually trying to say here is that uh, for, for, her, for her entire TikTok career, she's been trying to please everybody, which is obviously not the case. She's trying to take away accountability from herself and basically saying that now I'm going to take it in my own hands. Even though I said all these things before, um, and it may seem like I was lying about that because I'm doing this now. No, because I was just doing that to appease other people, but now I'm going to be selfish. She's not actually doing that. She's just lying here. This is just bullshit. Like, this is just her trying to cope with the fact that she did contradict herself and she's trying to take away blame from herself. People will always have this assumption of you. And so the reason that I've like come to the decision to have it is health, probably. I mean, you're literally on life support daily. Your respiratory issues are crazy. I literally see you out of breath. You you don't do shit throughout the day besides eat. Dude, what what is this like gap in between your eyes right now? There's no indentation or anything, dude. You can't tell me this girl don't be using like eight filters at once. 
I was thinking of the future and, you know, I've got no- Dude, I just want to know how the fuck you make it. How old is Becky? 32 years old? How the fuck did you make it to 32 years old and now you want to think about the future? Did you, did you just think that it was never going to negatively affect you ever to have that weight on you? And you know what? I see this so often with younger people specifically. And I can't say that I wasn't in that same boat. I was in that same boat to a lesser degree. But this is me when I was in my 20s, like in my earlier 20s, like, I don't know, 21, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23, right? I, I hear people even now say, I'm not making it to 30. I'm going to die by 32. It's whatever, dude. I'm just going to live my life. YOLO shit. I'm going to buy this car. I'm going to take out that loan. I'm going to eat this garbage. And then what do you know? They make it to 40. Then they make it to 50. And then they have nothing. They have no money saved up. They have no resources, you know, assets. They have no relationships. Because you know what? They were burning through their everything because they thought they were going to die by 30. But the time they make it to 40 or 50, then you hear them say, well, I mean, I'm already here. I don't want to die now. Like, I've already accumulated all this stuff. Like, I, I mean, I'm already going strong. I might as well keep going. And you have so much shit that you now have to sort through because the game, the, the, game, the way you were playing that game, you were playing that shit like you were on one life. But it turns out, dude... You were never gonna die. You were never gonna, you, you were always gonna make it to that thing. You were just playing that shit so terribly, dude. And the same thing here for Becky. I mean, it's obvious that this girl never thought about the repercussions or she just kind of thought that it was never gonna affect her. But I see this too many times where people think that they're invincible or they think that then nothing's gonna happen to them. And it's just like, I'm just gonna live my life and it's just gonna, it's gonna be great. Nah, that's not how that works, bro. Things are going to come up. There are going to be problems that you're going to have to deal with. As you get older, your body slowly starts to occur more and more defects. And by the way, the, the fatter you are, those defects are going to be amplified by an immeasurable amount. So I just, I just love when I hear people go, now I'm going to make a change. Now I'm going to make a change. Forget about those like, you know, 20 years of my life that I could have made my own decisions. Nah, forget about that. Now I'll make decisions like you already did a lot of damage, but at least now you're looking at it 32 33 How old is she is? It's not too far gone, but it's still like god damn you waited a long time Becky Health conditions at the moment, you know touch wood how my weight just my weight not my health I'm never I'm sorry, dude touch wood sounds like a sexual innuendo. It's Knock on wood people don't say touch wood if you say touch wood that sounds like Come on now, Becky. What are we doing? Touch wood? No health conditions at the moment. You know, touch wood. How my weight just... My Keep in mind, when she says she has no health conditions at the moment, she's probably talking about, like, no medical diagnoses or whatever. Um, she most definitely is having health problems, whether that be walking upstairs and having joint problems or respiratory issues. She's having health issues, 100%. She's just not acknowledging those as, like, big enough health issues to acknowledge. My weight, not my health, could impact you know me looking after my dad and just stuff like that like having children now you bro listen okay look i get 100 percent being fat will impede your ability to have children from a very basic degree not many people want to be with somebody that's chronically overweight not many people are going to be attracted to that so i mean all the people that used to think that Becky wasn't concerned with all this shit, I always called bullshit on it because everybody's concerned about this, dude. You creep up on 30. I don't care what age you are. I'm sorry. I don't care what gender you are. I know women may have a little bit more stress towards that because the eggs do have a tendency of drying up and things such and so forth. But make no mistake about it, dude. There are plenty of men that are in their 30s that had no intention of dating or didn't think women were serious. But by the time they hit 32, 33, 34, then they start thinking like, oh, shit, dude, I'm getting old and I don't have any kids. Like, I don't want to be a... I don't want to be a Clint Eastwood and have children at like 95. So there's going to be a lot. 100% people are thinking about this shit. And it's probably way more emphasized for Becky because I don't think she's dated in a long time, dude. And it's probably because of her poor attitude towards life, dude. I mean, think about all the things she just said right here. These things were all internalized for her, but she probably never thought about them in the front, the forefront of her mind because she was repressing them so, so incredibly hard to just cope with the fact that she does have these problems. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't think about it, you know, out of sight, out of mind type shit. And even though she's like the meme of the, the person sitting in the house and the house is on fire and they're drinking the coffee and they're going, this is fine. That is Becky. That is her entire life. That is her. Uh, all the health problems that she was having, she was just sitting there watching them all occur, building up over years and years and years. And now she's finally going, you know what? I got to take care of people. And I've always said this, dude. You got friends, you got family, you got people in your life that are going to rely on you. And make no mistake about it, dude, even though it's not like technically your responsibility, you can always walk away from those people. That's an asshole thing to do. And most people are not going to do that. Most people are going to sit there and they're going to they're gonna tolerate it and they're going to take care of the people they love. And that doesn't mean you're a weak person. That means you're a strong person. That means you have the ability to take on responsibility that necessarily is not yours. But you know this is going to be something that is going to be positive impact on you and everybody around you, of course. So... 
it's just tough when I see Becky Jones saying this shit because I'm just thinking like, why the fuck you wait so long? If I name and by the way, we don't even know necessarily. She's looking at this as if like it's a uh, one be all end all. Like once I get the surgery, I'm gonna be good. Nah, that's not gonna solve your problems. This is like a Kickstarter. If you want to look at, look at it as anything other, like anything in general, okay, it's not gonna get you to the end goal. This is just something that's gonna help you lose a little bit of weight at front. It's gonna make it easier to lose weight, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna beat your bad habits, right? This is that's this is not what that is. You still gotta kick the addiction, Becky. Means my saying, if you're overweight, you won't be able to do this stuff. I'm just thinking about myself and how it may impact. No, you are directly saying that. You're 100 percent saying that. You're saying if you're fat, you're gonna have reproductive issues. You're saying if you're fat, you're not gonna be able to find people to be with. If you're saying if you're fat, you're not gonna you're gonna have a harder time taking care of other people because you're gonna have a hard time taking care of yourself. So how the hell are you gonna take care of other people around you? Don't don't try to act like you're not saying that. You literally just said that. And of course she's not saying that generally, and she's talking about herself, but of course she can extend that to the general idea of what it is to be obese that's a fact becky you can't sit here and say oh no it's just me saying that of course i'm not saying it to affect other people yes you are don't act don't, don't try to sit there and say like this is something that's solely affecting you at me but by no means will my content change so it's not if, if nothing changes i'm gonna keep it a buck with you if nothing changes becky don't even bother that's only gonna hurt you it's literally only gonna hurt you, bro. That's like literally a marathon runner cutting off his legs and going, nothing's gonna change. Well, things are gonna change, okay? I'm gonna keep it a buck. If you have no intention of changing any of the activities, any of the uh, how you're gonna operate in this world, dude, or like on your TikTok and shit like that, dude, make no mistake about it. Don't do it. That's gonna, that's gonna majorly booty slap your shit. It won't go anywhere. I will still be able to do my what eat in the days. I'll still be able to do my cook with me. I'll still be able to do. Yeah, but nobody cares about the BMM halls. Like, if you're sitting here and you're telling me that, like, oh, rest assured, the BMM halls are gonna be, they're gonna be intact. Nobody, nobody in their, nobody in their mom has ever been. Man, you know what I really love about Becky Jones when she go to B and M and she does those shopping hauls. Man, that's the greatest. That's the awesome. That's the best. Nobody does that. The only people that are watching your videos are predominantly there to watch a big woman eat giant denominations of calories and also complain that she has weight problems. So get ready with me, day in the life. Nobody cares. And my page will not change to me being a weight loss page at all. It will be not be me wanting to perfect my body at all because honestly. This is why I was nervous. This is one of my biggest worries that my followers, my genuine followers, would not agree with me. I mean, it's most definitely a, a giant camel cock slap right into the face of all your fans that truly believe that you was good in your body and you was representing for all the big girlies out there and hashtag Slay Queen Edges and all that other bullshit. This is a major dick slap to them, but I've always said that if you wanted to make a change, that's completely fine, even if it uh, conf conflicts with the prior messages that you were saying, as long as you understand that that was wrong. It doesn't seem like that. It seems like she's trying to eat her cake and eat it too. All right, sorry. Uh, have her cake and eat it too. It seems like she wants to get the weight loss surgery and then also not be shit on for getting the weight loss surgery, which is not going to happen. It's, that's not how it is. I'm okay with it, by the way. I have no skin in this game. I've only wanted the best for Becky. I know a lot of people think that I was bullying her or whatever. I never thought, I would never think I was bullying Becky. I was just saying directly that Becky's way she navigates the world is terrible and she posted online which is only gonna make it worse because people are now watching you in a very public way and you're over here trying to deny accountability so yeah dude it's just not gonna work um i feel like i'm gonna get upset because obviously you've been there from the start and you've seen obviously my journey and i think and i enjoy food i love food makes sense to me i mean check out her entire tiktok it's literally her dude this, this is a girl that makes her own chocolate chocolate bars this is a girl that makes like gourmet cookies like you know what i'm talking about dude these are these are not traits that you could just beat out of yourself especially if you grew up like this and you've been eating like this for 20 years you're gonna have to make some serious changes and this is why i say like it's not a one and done for the surgery you're gonna have to change a lot of the way you think about stuff Please don't think that my love for that will go away because you know I love cooking and I just hope that you all still... Let's, let's be honest here for a second. Loving cooking and, and doing what she did in the kitchen is not not the same, dude. I'm sure she can love what she's doing in the kitchen, but I would never consider that to be cooking. By the way, also, um, the majority of the stuff that she eats is not even cooked food. It's just the stuff that she orders out. So takeaways, McDonald's, uh, Indians or whatever you want to call those, dude. Greg's is a lot of that. So uh, whatever, dude support me and it's not one of them where i'm being like 
I'll go away if you're not going to support me because I honestly understand if you don't want to support me or follow me. I'm not saying she's virtue signaling hard here though. She's saying like, oh yeah, I'm doing this for my own personal health. I got people that are going to rely on me. Keep in mind, this has always been true. Her saying this right now is completely fucking crazy. I don't know why the fuck she's like, what she's she's. I know why she's saying this. She's saying all that stuff before so she can virtual virtue signal her way to get people to continue to keep following her so it doesn't seem as bad as it actually is but make no mistake about it dude this is a giant meaty massive megalodon musty manly meat right into her fan's mouth factual statement like this is a bad thing because it, it's going to be an amazing thing for me because i've had constant contact with prime health concept and they are honestly amazing and have made me feel so much better about having this like i'm the first person to call myself a hypocrite so go ahead you can call yeah me. but that's just because she can call herself a hypocrite doesn't mean that she's actually taking accountability for what she's saying okay there are a lot of people out there that will go they'll preach one thing and then immediately switch up and be like okay i was wrong you know i was wrong but they don't actually meet they, they don't actually resonate for the reason why they're wrong you know, they don't think about what they did before. All the thousands of videos that you uploaded saying one thing and then suddenly you switched it up drastically. A lot of people are going to look at that and they're going to go, that's really inconsistent of you, Becky. That's really fucked up. And I get that you're calling yourself out for being a hypocrite. But overall, like a lot of people are going to look at that and go, that's really fucked up. Like, that's really crazy. Like I said, I don't care personally. I only want the best for Becky. I thought her content was deplorable to begin with. But um, I always told her, I always said, this is, you know, she should probably think about losing weight. She should probably try, but it always was like negative for her because the content that she made directly contributed to the weight gain and the money that she was making. So it was like a negative feedback loop. She was getting the positive reinforcement for people that thought that it was great for her to be eating the thousands and thousands of calories. And she was gaining tons and tons of weight, but she was also gaining tons and tons of money as a consequence of that. And now it seems like she has to pay the piper. Tell me that. We can all change our minds on things, but yeah, you can, dude. You yeah, but it seems like a major cop out to be saying that, dude. Um, <laughs> it seems like a major cop out on that, dude. It's just like if you've been saying something for years and then suddenly you just come out and go, never mind. Oh, uh, that uh, for me personally is great. I think it's great that you you change your mind, but it's kind of it kind of just makes it like how how long have you thought about this? That's what I would want to know. Like, why did you why did you eventually come to this now? Uh, I would just love to know the thought process because it just seems like a complete 180, especially given the video that is literally that we're about to see right after this, which is literally one hour before this video was uploaded, was you eating tons and tons of food. I just don't understand how you can eat like tons and tons of food and then make this video right after that. I'm like, I'm getting the guy. Guys, guess what? Even though I've been making videos for literal years and I just put out a video literally an hour ago of me body washing these deluxe ice cream cones. I'm getting the guy. I'm getting the the, the gastric bypass leave. It just kind of seems like you're 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 trying to realistically you're trying to get eat your cake. Sorry, have your cake and eat it too. That's what it seems like you're trying to do, and it's fucked up to a lot of people. I, I mean, I think it's fucked up too, but it's okay for me. Like I don't care. I have no vested interest in you. It's just your fans at this point getting dick slapped. <laughs> But body confidence no matter what shape or size yeah you don't believe that shit though i mean she literally said one of the reasons why she was losing weight is because she needs to find some manses i mean she didn't say that directly but she said she wants to have children she could have met um from the reproductive side of i know that when you're fatter you do have problems with reproductive issues as a woman even as men a lot of men don't produce testosterone once they've reached like upward levels of obesity because their nut sacks just completely shut off so i'm pretty sure it's probably the same thing for women like your egg sacs just stop working why the hell would your egg sac work in an optimal way when your rest of your body is literally on life support of course but um, I, I'm going to totally relay that as I haven't got a man in literally years. Most dudes look at me and think, <gasps> and I want to change that. I want to get menses in my DMs that want me more than just me eating these ice cream cones. Like, I, I, I totally see that. But, Becky, come on. You know this is for aesthetical purposes. Come on now, dude. You know what it is. I mean, you didn't want to put in the hard work on the calorie deficit. But you okay with getting the easy done. You okay with getting the – it's not even going to be easy either will always be the most important to me and i don't want people to think that i'm not gonna you know embrace everything you're my followers you're my reason why i come on here why i do my videos you are the most important people in my life as well as my friends and family and that's why it's been hard to tell you because because she knows that this is a complete contradiction and also she just came back off that drama about her cousin not being able to, or she got kicked out of the uh, the dancing recital class or whatever, dude. That drama was literally like a week ago or two weeks ago at this point. So she has that drama that she has to worry about, and a lot of people was hating on her for that. And now she has this drama too, which is like a complete 180. 
um, off of what, what even a video from an hour ago. I mean, you, 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 actions speak louder than words for a lot of people, right? So if you're sitting here and you're uploading tons and tons of videos, and these videos are all you consuming hundreds and thousands of calories in each one of these videos, the what I eat in a days, the, you know, check out my tea, I got takeaway tonight, all this fucking bullshit that you put up. A lot of people look at that and they think, this girl's confident with herself. She's putting herself out there, even though she's crying on the internet, even though people are making fun of her, and she 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 definitely has the response videos of that. Uh, a lot of people are looking at you as a valuable, um, insightful tool that people could use to like use as an outlet to feel better about themselves. And now they can't even do that. And uh, I see why you uh, you have to preference. It. She has to. Otherwise, people are gonna like flame the fuck out of her, bro. I mean, she's coming from a very bad angle here. As well as my friends and family, and that's why it's been hard to tell you because I know that people are going to have mixed opinions but I'm leaving my comment section open and any questions that's I'll brave dude I mean we're literally talking about the girl that was disabling comments on people that were just saying mean things I can't even imagine what she's gonna get on this I'll honestly try my best to answer them all obviously I know people will say well your content will change it might change slightly but that you just okay so if you're telling me your content's not going to change, that's a very, very absolute statement. And then to immediately right after that go, it might change. Come on. You know it's going to change. Don't lie. Don't act like this is you, – you want it to change. That would, be the prefer, that would be the preferable outcome. If it didn't change, you would still be – it would be worse for you if you got that surgery and the, and the content didn't change. That would be a fact. So it should change, Becky. Obviously – the fans, the fans, the people that support you, the people that support you, they don't want it to change because they like what you eat. They like watching you eat these high calorie foods and things such and so forth. And I'm sure there are plenty of dudes or women even in the comment section that are actively using it as sexual pleasure. And that's neither here nor there. But the point I'm making is there are plenty of people out there that have a um, interest in you consuming large amounts of calories. And that's going to change. It has to change. Otherwise, you're going to be really busted. That would be nice to have fresh content and fresh ideas but nothing about me will change except for obviously you know i'll lose some weight and stuff like that but my, me i won't change and i'll always be here but yeah i just thought i'd let you know today and i hope you all have a great week i want to know to what degree uh people watch becky jones videos for becky like uh, is it really her or is it the the food behind her and like i said i've left my comment section open for any questions but big thank you to prime health concept as well Let's go watch that video real quick that I was just talking about of her eating these ice cream cones literally one hour before this video was uploaded. In the same day, Dad, by the way, you're getting this video literally the same day all this is transpiring. Hi everyone, so I had to put a voice over this because it was just far too windy. But today I went to New Brighton Food Festival. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that they did this, but I do now. Anyway, this is just a video dedicated to the bubble waffles and the slush machine. She's wearing that same shirt, dude. This is that same day. She literally went here, body slammed this deluxe chocolate, body slammed this deluxe candy bar, and then had the audacity to make that video right after that. Crazy, bro. You know, I think everything that she was saying in that previous video was probably true to one, ex one degree or another, but it's going to be very jarring for somebody to watch this video and immediately click on the next one and go, what the fuck? I got the strawberry cheesecake bubble waffle. And when I tell you, this was insane. It's it also a lot of calories, Becky, dude. I, like, this is what I'm saying, dude. Literally the same exact shirt. This is literally like an hour apart. She ate that shit. She body slammed it. That shit went down her throat, satisfied her mouth real quick. And then she recorded that video. And keep in mind that this waffle, this ice cream waffle or whatever this thing is, bro, this has got to be at least a thousand calories, bro. And this is going to be a problem for her, dude. Because listen, even though you have your stomach reduced by a certain portion, that doesn't change the fact that calories are calories, okay? If you eat in something that's very small and it's very dense, it's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna gain weight regardless. And Becky has a real big problem eating dense foods when it comes to calories, dude. I mean, look at what she's eating right here. And this is a daily thing for her. It was honestly amazing. Here I am trying to look very nice eating my waffle, but I think that was definitely not a given. <laughs> I was explaining just how delicious it was. And yeah, as you can imagine, I said it was amazing because it was. I really need to learn how to make one of these. Why? It was so windy and the seagulls kept floating above our heads. Then look at all these slush flavors to choose from. They even had a Red Bull one. They had a Coca-Cola one. Blue raspberry, of course. I went for the cherry one. I mean, really think about what we're doing right now, dude. She's getting another slushie right out the back of this. Dude, the slushies are literally high in calories. I mean, it's a drink, but it's giving you high calories. It's like 500 calories per drink. And I'm not playing with you, dude. Uh, I don't think this is going to help her. 
I don't know to what I don't know why she thought this was a good idea for her audience. She probably should have just kept it under wraps if she was gonna do this shit because it's most definitely a hypocritical statement for her, and her fans is most definitely not gonna like that. Um, I'm happy for her. I hope that she can actually do it. I'm very pessimistic on that though. I'm not optimistic when it comes to Becky Jones. She has not changed anything personally. She has not actually done the work needed in order to properly uh, be able to lose the weight. And that's most definitely something you're going to have to do if you want to lose, if you want to get the bypass leave. It's not just a one and done thing. So I hope Becky the best. I really do. But I'm very pessimistic, dude. But you know what? I'm, I'm, hope, I'm open to be surprised. I'm open to be wrong. I want to be wrong on this, dude. I hope Becky has a great... I hope that she does it. I hope she gets the, the, the sleeve. And I hope that she gets uh, the weight loss down. And I hope she does something with her diet as well. But, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm not really... I'm, I'm realistic here. She, it's not going to work very well for her. She's going to have a very, very hard time. I know a lot of people personally that get that sleeve and they don't end up losing a lot of weight and they end up gaining back weight. So, regardless, guys, I hope you enjoyed the second video today. It's like I said, it's, a, it's an anomaly for me to upload more than one video a day. We do do live streams. By the way, we're going to do a live stream later on tonight. So, if you're watching this video right now, 6 p.m. EST, we're going to do a live stream. Maybe we'll talk about this. Maybe we'll talk about other things. Maybe we'll talk about how delicious you are, how amazing you are. Maybe we're going to talk about that amazing haircut you got. Maybe we're going to talk about your armpits and how juicing and, and amazing they are. I just want to take a cloth and I want to put them under your armpits and I want to lube that up and I just want to take that. I just want to go, ah, oh, ah, oh, just, you know what I'm talking about? I just need that all over my mouth. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down below about this. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. So if you watch the video in its entirety, let me know down below by typing in Becky, you know, because I hope that she's doing well and that's the nature of this entire video. It's a random one, but either way, um, thank you so much for you guys watching the video today. I really appreciate it. Two videos in one day. I hope you appreciate that too as well. Um, regardless of that, you're a beautiful, amazing specimen of, of human being. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope to see you in that live stream later on tonight. Uh, enjoy. Oh, yeah. If you want to check my social media, it'll be linked down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.